This is a really quick overview of Lumapix Yearbook Fusion. I'll start by picking a template. Out of the box you can have several yearbook looks. I'll just take this one. We'll see on the first page what it's going to look like as an overall album. I'll press page down to allow me to start stepping in and modifying the book. I'll change the name of the book. I'll go and grab a picture, let's say, of the front of the school and drag and drop it into this photograph here, which allows me to zoom in tight and get the look the way I like. I'll press page down again. We'll come back to the table of contents later on. Here I'll find a picture of the principal, let's say, and crop and pan to get it just right. This is all text which you can modify, uh, for example, adjusting the inter-character spacing or the inter-line spacing, changing the font. Any true type font that you have installed in your system will work, so we'll go with a, a handwritten look for the principal's address. This is Mr. Smith. Pressing page down again, we get to a frame that shows what it looks like when pictures are made to look old. Here is a uh, sepia tone look where we're seeing the leather look underneath. And again, you would modify the text to taste. Now we get to the yearbook panels, which allows me to say, let's import the PSPA CD, which contains a series of photographs. And I'll choose to place it on my desktop, like this. So now the contents of the CD are being copied onto my machine and a database being built which is composed of all the students keeping track of their last name and their first name and so on. All of this driven by the CD given to us by the portrait photographer. Here are the results. You can see the first and last names and the grade and so on. We'll go back to the Create tab and I'll say let's create a panel. First thing I notice is that the text is currently black. I'll make that white and I'll adjust the grid size dragging like this to say I'd like the grid to have this kind of a shape to it. Now I'll populate the grid. Let's say just drop all the students in one after the other. I can choose to have attributes like do I want the text to be underneath or on the edge. Would I like there to be um, a little bit more space on the top or the bottom of the panel. I can adjust things like the the amount of border on each one of the frames. I'm going to go all the way down to zero border. And finally I'm going to knock out frames like this. What's happening is that they're being bumped around. You'll see that he will move here. You see. So now if I create a new frame, we can put the teacher in. Let's say it's her. I'll go and grab a frame. You have access to the library of Lumapix content, so I'll use this Polaroid, let's say, and put the name of the teacher. This is Mrs. Vice. I'll turn off the shadow, make the text black, and get it looking just the way we want. When I'm done with all of this, what I can do is say upload it to the publisher like this. I have my choice of uploading it either as a PSD or a PDF or a JPEG. That's a publisher's preference and if I choose this menu item the entire album is going to be rendered to those file formats and uploaded to them. Or I can say send them the whole project. Everything. The photographs, the fonts, any papers and frames and textures that I've used. Package everything up and send it to the publisher so that they can open that project and if they need to make any corrections on the final work. That's how to build a yearbook in three minutes with full customization and panel pages built as fast as you've ever seen. Thank you.